Hi there, I'm Stephanie Shanti and I wanted to share with you my absolute favourite yin sequence for the upper body. Um, it's a really nice sequence that kind of has a pleasing sort of uh, cycle to it. Um, it involves compression in all the way around the rib cage, the lower ribs, which means I'm laying on a blanket on the lower ribs um, and then I'm laying on a blanket on the side ribs and then I'm laying on a blanket, a blanket under the um, the back ribs. So in that way, it's very nice for my breathing, my diaphragm, because um, when I finish compressing, I get a chance to kind of suck in this hydration. So the, the post-compression element is that I'm going to really be able to breathe a bit better, release the, the diaphragm, probably potentially release the belly. And then the other element is it, that it's actually working uh, all the way around the shoulder joint, um, specifically the back of the shoulder, I guess. We're going to start kind of taking the arm over the body, leaning down on it, and then a side stretch so that's going to be kind of the side ribs opening the side ribs and then a little twist taking those ribs back and then finally kind of an opening so we're really kind of working around the shoulder area this is also why it can be quite um, confusing to begin with with your for your students because there's some of those um, poses in that sequence that they might need more or less uh, props for so it can be a bit fiddly until your students understand the kind of point of the poses um, And they can understand that they can take more things they can adjust and make it comfortable It can be a little bit um, messy to teach but once people get um, Get it like usually there's two sides right so by the second side it's easier And then if you repeat that sequence, you know if you get chance to teach them again Then um, then people get really into it and it does kind of leave you leave you feeling very open or leaves me feeling at least very open open, able to breathe um, a little bit better. So I'm going to show you kind of the basic way uh, and then you can you can experiment with it. So um, I start with two blankets. Um, so they're my kind of call that I'm going to use the whole way as I kind of roll my way around. You'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. So I want to make kind of um, a nice sort of sausage like bolster that's going to go across my mat so it needs to be wide because I'm going to be moving around I don't want to kind of run out of, um, of, of props so here my my blanket is in a kind of long rectangle which is kind of a little bit wider than the width of my mat so that's perfect I'm going to roll it up so that it's quite um, you know it's, it's a fairly thick sausage there but I want uh, it to be a bit thicker so I'm going to get the other one get my other blanket and I'm gonna just roll that up on top. So I've got this kind of reasonably good uh, bolster. Now for larger bodied, uh, larger bodies or more breast tissue, you might need a little bit uh, more of a lift for the first bit, but then as we get into the back bends, a high lift is gonna feel a little bit awkward. So there's different ways we can work around this. Um, sometimes you're gonna just, when you, by the time you get to the back, you can just take this out and you can do it um, differently. Um, you can do it without the lift or you can kind of adjust so the best way I find to adjust is the first position I don't do the full kind of shoulder stretch so I'm going to place this under my ribs the breast tissue is over into this kind of gap between the bolster and the floor and I'm going to just bring one arm underneath and that is going to be level with my shoulder so I've got the arm underneath I've got the breast tissue then I've got the bolster so I'm going to just bring myself down onto the, the um, blankets under the ribs I'm going to take one arm over and instead of doing this double thing which which makes it a little bit more I mean a lot of people need a, a higher lift for this to be comfortable so I'm because I'm going to do both sides anyway this other hand I'm just going to stretch on top so it's like um it's like thread the needle really so I'm going to bring my forehead down I can always bring my forehead on a blanket I could bring my forehead on uh, a block if it's not comfortable I can have space between my space between my legs oh and the other thing is because we're going to be rolling it round it might start kind of to the left side of the of the blanket so I'm on the edge of my mat because I'm going to kind of go all the way around you'll see in a minute so this would be my first position and like with all yin you can offer a higher prop underneath here if the shoulders are very tight or just not dumping so much weight down so we can stay a little bit higher up here and just have a gentle stretch. So we want to be able to relax there. So that's the first position, it's kind of like a thread the needle. So I've got my right arm underneath, but it's underneath the top of my shoulders. So I've got space for the breast tissue and I've got the ribs lifted up. So this is compressing the front of the ribs. I'm gonna work my way around so that I get this 360 degree compression in the ribs, which is part of the joy of that. 
So the next position from there is that I'm going to keep this right arm underneath me. I'm going to stretch it over towards the left and I'm going to come and organise myself so that I'm in a really nice side stretch. So now the, um, the bolster's kind of underneath my armpit. There's still a little bit of space between, so that, between my armpit and the bolster because I want this bolster to just be lifting up the side ribs. I can drop my head down onto the floor, I can have it onto a blanket, and then I can take my arm over the top if I want. I could take hold of a block and just rest my arm there. I could bend the arm and just have the, the fingertips there. Or I can take my hand to my ribs and just drop the shoulder back if that feels more comfy, or have the arm on the hip. So this is the second position. It's just kind of giving some compression on the side ribs there and I quite like it to be a nice kind of uh, side stretch for the other side as well but that's you know up to your student to decide. So we've come from the kind of thread the needle to the side position and then what I'm going to do is bend my knees. I'm going to keep the top foot on on my bottom foot and I've got to make sure that I've got enough uh, bolster to, to roll back on. So I'm going to now roll into an elevated twist. So this is where we can get into trouble here with our students. We probably want a lift under the head. And this, if this leg comes up and pulls you out of the twist, what you can do is bolster that top leg just to kind of give it a little bit of weight. And you can have cactus arms or take the arms out to the side. And so now I'm kind of like leaning back with the rib cage. I've got kind of the back right ribs on the bolster but not I'm not central I'm trying to let the left shoulder drop down and that might, might mean the cactus is a bit too much for me or it might mean that I need a block under my head or for some people for this one they prefer to take the the roll out they prefer to take the bolster out and just do a nice little gentle twist so my knee can pop up my, feet, my foot's on my other foot and I'm just kind of leaning back. And so it's a little bit of a back bend and a gentle twist. And then finally, after this position, I'm gonna continue my journey around so that I'm in this really nice chest open position. So the bolster's coming out. Again, just a little space between the armpit and the bolster. The bolster's pressing my lower ribs up um, the lower back ribs up. I can be cactus, I can be T-shape, I can have my legs straight so I've got kind of my knees falling in towards each other or I could take them into you know lengthening them out but that's a little bit more on my my lower back so then my neck feels like it's talking to me. You can do anything to make your neck uh, comfortable in this position so you get this nice opening around the front and then we've kind of come around so in theory you could carry on going round so that you finish in that kind of uh, original position. But I like to start again on the other side because then I get two goes at this lovely opening position. So if I was gonna start again, I'd, I'd say that was it, and then I'd come up, roll onto the side and come up, and then I'd start all over again on the other side. And so I'll show you from the other side what it's gonna look like. Remember, I'm gonna start um, to the side of my mat so I've got enough room that I can kind of come back, so I start in that uh, thread the needle position, bolster under the ribs, breast tissue free, forehead can be on the floor or a blanket, the other hand is just stretching out in front, and then I'm going to come to the side position, just bend my knees, then I can have something under the head and I can have my hand on the block or the hand on the floor. Just starting to compress the side ribs on the bottom side and open the side ribs on the top side. Then, what I'm gonna do is start to roll towards the floor and let my top knee lift up. And then I can just stretch out into this T-shape. Again, I've got my something under my head. My foot is on top of the foot, but the knee is lifted. And then the fourth position is to come to this nice upper back stretch. It's very simple and it really makes you feel quite open, quite free in the ribs. But again,
again. Allow your students to get into the feeling of it. You might want to teach those four poses separately uh, and then kind of put them together as a sequence so it's not so difficult. But it's, it's quite nice as long as your roll is wide enough that you can make that roll. And again, it might be that some students need a higher roll and then they need to take, so maybe they've got a blanket on top that they can easily take off for one of the, one of the positions. But yeah, see how you get on. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Thank <laughs> you.